Hi there. I wanted to provide a supplementary video to the interview showing our use of ChatGPT to write a high school or college essay and pass that on to our AI writing detection product, more or less live. So hang on to your safety belts. Let's take a look. Great. So here is a prompt I've just input into ChatGPT. Write a first year college paper that makes a claim about the equity uses surrounding the use or ban of technology, including AI writing generators in the classroom. Support your position with quotes and be sure to evaluate the sources that you use. So we're gonna get a pretty high quality generated text out of this. But as you read, you might find that it's a little bland. Uh, the structure might be a little repetitive. Uh, and there may be some kind of intangible quality that makes it feel not quite right. That's because you know what you're looking at is AI written. Is this a real source? Ching and Williams, 2017. While we're writing, let's take a little look. Possibly. It looks like this might be an invented source here, uh, which is always a clue. Equity considerations about grabbing calculators. It's a funny topic for 2017. That's quite interesting to me. Oh, there it is. Different author, different year, but something nearby. So this is another clue. I lost my tab. Thank you. Uh, that we can look at. But for Turnitin's AI writing detection today, we're looking at the text and the patterns of usage that imply uh, a less than authentic voice or at least a borrowed voice. So we'll take this essay, citations and all, and we'll paste it in over here. And happily, thankfully, all of the sentences in this relatively short uh, college paper uh, appear to be AI written. We saw that they were. Uh, we're not evaluating the references section at this time, but we have fairly high confidence or certainty that uh, this paper was AI written. Now let's look at something else. I have another paper here uh, that is on a similar topic, uh, whether cell phones should be allowed in schools uh, as might be written by a high school student. This comes from Revision Assistance uh, Library of Example Essays that we provide to teachers and students so they can understand the use of some of our writing prompts. Let me go grab that text. It looks like this in context, where this was a pretty proficient essay uh, written by a person uh, talking about how the use of phones can lead to decreasing grades uh, and whether and that the use of these tools is maybe ill advised in the classroom. That is the student's position. We're going to paste this in over here. What about this somewhat redundant? Uh, student article. I changed the names. I added a few more transitional phrases, tried to make it look a little bit more like ChatGPT's output. But thankfully, happily, all 30 of these sentences are predicted as written by a person, which they were. So these are two kind of polar examples, everything there, everything not there. We might also do some remixing where we've got uh, a uh, hand edited piece where parts of it are AI written and parts of it aren't. Uh, I had asked ChatGPT a while ago to give me a new Sherlock Holmes style story where Mrs. Uh, Hudson, the landlady, was the one who solved the case. And they did an okay job, but I added some bits. I, I lengthened the story, gave the characters a bit more personality. And uh, here we're showing less than the full extent of the AI written content because we want to focus on the parts where we're really sure about it and leave out the parts where we're not. So these parts did indeed come straight from ChatGPT. A little bit more did as well. We're leaving that out. And uh, again, at the end, parts that were written by the, by the robot. I was proud of my dialogue here in the middle, so I'm glad that that was not flagged as AI writing. So thanks very much. I hope this helps you understand the use of our AI writing detector uh, in practice and you can bring it to your students 
as a way to start conversations and engage with them around the use of AI writing in your own classroom.